Hello and welcome back to Skyrim Legends. Well, currently Korgal and Zora are at a very peculiar camp, and oh, hi there. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. All right, sounds good to me. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, bye. Huh? That was strange. Well, let's go ahead and get a move on now, and we will leave. I don't. Yeah, let's just go. There's a saber cat right over there, but it's not bothering anyone, and it seems to have a little baby there. How cute. Alright, well, I know that we need to go up this way and go through a mountain pass in order to reach this location. I believe it's called Mount Kilkreath, and we need to bring this beacon of Meridia there. I found it, and, wow, another saber cat. Oh, boy. We're in saber cat country. Uh, that one looks a little bit bigger. Or is that a bear? I can't tell. Anyway, let's just get a move on. Oh, I hate bears. I know, you hate most things. Yep, I hate them all. I hate that. That's a rabbit. Hate it. Oh. Oh, and there's a camp there, too. It looks fairly large. There would be a lot of bandits there. And another saber cat. Whoa! That is a... S oh, my. That is huge. Yeah, we're not going that way. Um, I feel like a detour over in the other direction would be a bit more prudent to indulge in. Let's check the map real quick. So we are going... Yeah, we're going directly this way. Not through the mountains. That would be a little bit crazy. Not crazy, but just maybe a little bit more dangerous than I would like to deal with right now. Alright, so here we go. We'll try to run for as much of it as we can, where we can. Here we go. I feel like you move a little bit slower, Corgol. Have you been eating a bit too much? Look at my biceps. I'm glorious. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I think we are near that place with the vampires, and you did piss off the dad. Well, I did want to bang his daughter. Oh, well, what? I guess I wasn't there for that part. <laughs> Uh, I'm green, man. Pretty big there. Yeah, alright, well, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and make our way down through this forest here. Your weapons and armor are quite not... Oh! Forsworn! Well, that's neat! Or, oh, well, he didn't make it too long. Well, I guess we could look for his stuff right now. Mm, he doesn't really have too much that I would want. There's some bear traps, and who's that? A dead Nord? Oh, that's mean. She can handle him quite easily. Damn, these guys are pretty weak. We need to find someone a little bit more challenging to kill. Well, good work, dear. That's some pretty grass, too. Whoa, it's a lot of greenery here. Heavy armor has increased. I need to increase my skills once I get into a more dangerous predicament. If you're not aware of how I work things out, es essentially what I do is I wait until I'm near dead and then I go ahead and use my level up because, well, that kind of gives you full health. Well, not kind of. It's, it certainly does. And that has saved me many, many times, and so I'd rather save that for future uses anyway. Might need to get rid of this grass mod. I think I got a mod called That Grass, and I'm not sure if I like it so far. It looks cool, but... Like, this grass here is great. Beautiful grass there, but I don't know about the little plants down here, or whatever that is. Oh, we found a new ruin, or ruins. Whoa. There's some force worn there, too, but again, ah, it's not too bad. I guess we'll find out once we get to other locations. Very interesting looking spot, though. Oh, there's nothing here. Broken table. It's like a little hut. I haven't seen a ruin like that before. Now that I have seen. Let's head over to this little house there. And see what we can find while we're here. Come on now. Alright, so we're moving on up. Right over here. And we shall see what we shall do. And what we shall do is probably kill, but it's not my fault. What is over here? Some grass? It looks rather worn down. Frodmar's Cottage. Apparently there's a fellow who lives out here. So I suppose we will not be breaking in right now, though I, w I would like to. Nice clouds, though. Pretty day. Pretty day indeed. It's actually a beautiful spot now that I give it a little bit more thought. I really like it. I mean, it's kind of an open... What the hell? Okay. Now I'm gonna kill this deer. That's, um... I've never seen a deer attack you like that. Did you pit? I don't know what you did, but... Let's get out of here. That is very... Off and odd in many ways. Out of nowhere, just an angry deer. <laughs> Must have stepped on his little baby head. I don't think he stepped on one, but I want to. Uh, yeah, well, want and actual happening is not the same thing. Alright, what's that? A dead 
What is that? A horse? Yeah. And there's a dead person nearby, too. There's a dead horse. That is an arrow, which means, yeah. A bandit, huh? Whoa. Prices are 10% better. I like that. Some wine. That's a nice cloak. I'll take that, too. Uh, is that a bandit, too? I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Hey, babe. Oh, she she's still up. That's surprising. Well, she was still up. Now she's just dead. Let's take her gold, and she doesn't really have anything else for us to want, even. Is there more danger here? No. Huh. We've run into so many people. There's more bandits in Skyrim than there are civilians. It's crazy. These are bad times. Roving banditry everywhere. Then again, that is a pretty common feature of Civil War and just war in general, that you would have roving bands of brigands and such. Especially in this type of era here, where it's not as civilized, I guess you could say. Or where people are a bit more prone to having that type of situation. Probably more so due to the lack of firearms, too. Yeah. Alright. That's a bear there. Hi, bear. Oh, it's, I thought it was going to dance. I was going to be quite amused by that. Ooh. Not that amused. Let's check the map in just a moment here. We should be able to find out where we're at. We've gotten pretty far. Look at that. Let me see. We're almost to Dragon Bridge. We need to he head right over here. Yeah, so once we get to Dragon's Bridge, we can head up north on the road. Uh-oh. That might... Oh boy, this might be a little bit dead. Okay, well. Time for some rock climbing. Rock falling is more like it. Yeah, it's a bit more accurate. You're certainly right about that. So down we go. Down we go to the trail. To dra Oh, it's not Dragon's Bridge. It's uh, Dragon Bridge. Okay. Now I understand. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Nice little grass over here. Beautiful town. Yeah, I'm sure that guard wouldn't feel a bit scared seeing an orc just tower on through. I mean, you have to keep in mind, I'm Korgal is much larger than the average man. Let's go compare. <laughs> We're comparing sizes. Hey there, hey there, buddy. Oh, well, you're not as big as I thought. Oh no, I'm much bigger. I mean, you are denser, yeah, but I thought you were much taller. But I guess Nords would be a little bit uh, taller too, just due to the inherent nature of their genetics. Their genes? What? Do you even know what a gene is? Can I eat it? No, you can't eat it, Corgal. Oh. All right, let's go up here now. So we're getting close now, and then we can find whatever this is, and I know that Meridia is not very fond of vampires or undead in general, so that might be... Yeah, see, look. I got that Dat Grass mod, which I thought was a clever name because of the grass here. Might need to fiddle with it a little bit more, but ooh, look at that. Is that not nice? Heck yeah. It just doesn't mesh as well with the... What the hell? Are they coming after us, or... I don't think so. Oh, it's a troll. Oh... He's showing the troll around. Whoa, he's bypassing the guards there and going after whoever. Ah, it's those guys. Hey, let's help him out. Why not? They're... Whoa, they actually lived. <laughs> they didn't do a lot of damage to that troll. Maybe they should not fight trolls in the future. Who are they guarding? Ah, her, huh? Her guard woman. Good morning. You're just traveling? Just chilling out? With two guards? Good morning. I'm not too interested. Well. So we need to go up here still, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, actually, we can take a little detour over on this side here. Ah, it's right there. Yes, indeed. Up the mountains we go to explore and to find and to take what is not ours. Sounds good to me. Uh, I always find it interesting how a morally ambiguous character has become quite popular. I, I think... Look at my temple well, lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Alright. I don't like this place. I have enough women by me already. Now one's in my head. Yeah. I don't envy you now, Korgal. She better be sexy. Yeah, I guess I would make up for it. I mean, you know what they say about the crazy ones. No, but, I mean, she is a divine creature. Doesn't matter. Wow. It's actually pretty beautiful. I really like that a lot. Wow. Look at that. Restore to me my beacon, that 
I might guide you toward your destiny. I mean, she is showing some legs, and so maybe you could trust her. Oh, look at Zora. She put on her cloak. That is adorable. It got cold. Oh, okay, well. You're so cute. Okay, let's go right over here now. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? You shouldn't be going that far up, Corgo. It's time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. What the hell? I feel like I'm floating in the. The oh. token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkaren defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. All right. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. So I kill him, right? I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. All right, sounds good to me. Okay, um, I'll do it. Of course you will. I have commanded. Ooh, it. voiceful. I like her a lot. Mm. Go now. Corvo. The artifact must be reclaimed. And Malkarin destroyed. It doesn't work like that, Clorgal. Yeah, it does. I'll try my best. Malkarin has forced the door shut. But this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Alright, well. Here we go. That's interesting. That was, um, not what I expected. Pretty cool, though. Alright, well, it's gonna move on now. That was pretty fascinating. So, I need to guide a light through the temple or whatever. Which means I'm heading where now? Jewel of Perberis. Where? Let's see. Let's go to my journal. New order, the break of dawn. Here we go. Ah, so the temple's right by here. Very, very well. Let's go there now and see what we can do. Hopefully, well, I did want to find a more challenging foe, so perhaps I've come to the right place then. Though I did want to find some. Oh, hello. Oh, great! More grammar. I hate learning. Yeah, tell me about that one, huh? All right. I don't even know what these mean. Ah, words. Yeah, I don't know either. Dragon Ranch or whatnot. Okay, let's go ahead and find this place. So I need to head where? Oh, it's back here. Okay, so it's right behind. It's on the other side, perhaps. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that guy would have felt the presence of a freaking divine creature. Talking, but maybe not. No one's going to see the beam of light? Huh. Well, all right, then. Is it down here? I have no clue. Oh, dear. Where is it? I mean, I'm, I'm seeing a pretty vast location right by a huge city. I could head there first. I'm going to find it. Hold on. It's not that far away. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. <sighs> we could head there first, yeah. And I will, but I need I do need to head to a city, which means that I need to head over to Solitude real quick, and that's what we will do. I need to go sell what I have and find some more potions, so we will be back. And uh, she's going to have to wait a little bit. I mean, come on. She's not mortal, so I'm sure she can wait a short time, right? Yeah. All right, off we go, and here we go. It'll take a little bit of a trot, but we'll be there soon enough. Then we'll head on back, and I'll probably just, uh, you know, spend the night in the inn. Actually, we're making good time. We should be able to make it there and back and be fine. Whoa, doing anything else. Imperial Wizard? They're just chatting here. Huh. Heading to Solitude, that's interesting. Oh, you're lucky that a certain character isn't here to kill all of you. Your thoughts on all this? I signed on because I couldn't watch the Stormcloaks tearing everything apart and not do something. Huh. They're signing up. Three wizards. That's rather challenging. I would feel like the Imperials would have a lot more 
in the context of uh, magic on their side than anyone else would, to be quite honest. Which is my view. Actually, I think that's a predilection that would always be true, right? I mean, you have the Nords. I mean, they do have Nords who practice magic, but I'm not sure if that would be as extensive as the Empire. I mean, even if they have fallen in power, I believe that they still have such a great source of knowledge and history. I mean, so do the do the Nords, but I mean, the the Empire would have it from all over the realms here. So I feel like their mystical studies might be a little bit more extensive. But of course, I could be wrong. No one stops me and goes, "Hey, why are you all bloodied up?" <laughs> I'll be like, well, I'm doing what you haven't been, guard. Alright, so we're heading into the city now. We're almost there now. Hey there. Then we'll head right in and have a dandy old time. Yeah, I feel like the grass might be a little bit too green for the <laughs> rest of the nature here. That or I'll have to find something to fit that type of saturation of colors. Well, in we go now. Okay. Wow, there's not a lot of people here. I thought there would be a lot more, but... Things look pretty empty. That's kind of scary. Let's see, where shall we go sell things? For a veteran? Huh, you are a, coin a veteran. For a veteran? Can yeah. You spare a septum? Oh, thank you. Divine Can't believe you gave him one. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad guy. I hope you know that. Well, yeah, you're an orc. Haha, <laughs> you got on. It's raining now, wow. You already got one. Oh. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. What? I don't like the sound of that. I think it's a whore. Alright, well, let's see. Aromatics. That is for potions, so let's go in there first off. And get our shopping out the way. Okay, let's see. I need to go in here and chat with her. Oh, it's an older lady, of course. You're a traveler, correct? Yeah. Have you been to a white run? Yeah. Wonderful. My daughter Fiora, huh? Fiora was assigned. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous. Uh, right, sure. Oh, that's very sweet of you. All right, let's see. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous. Adrenaline rush potion. Me. That's interesting. Okay, I don't know what that is. What have you got for sale? Look. <laughs> she got a little bit more serious then. It's like, yeah, I may want you to do things for me, but I'm still here to make money. Troll skull. I have a lot of that. I don't want the poison. I don't use that. Magicka poison, oh thank you. Let's see, minor magicka. I shall sell this as well. What else do I have here? Skuma, well, that too. Alright, let's go see what she has now. I need all the potions that I can get. Drought of the Healer. Let's see, no, I don't want that either. Enchanter's Drought. Blacksmith's Potion. That's really good for my blacksmithing, yeah. Extended Invisibility, let's take that. Extreme Stamina. How much money do I even have? Let's see. I'm a pretty good amount, so I shall buy quite a bit here. All seven. I'll buy these two. And all of these. Oh, trust me. Where I'm going, I need all the help that I can get. Plentiful healing here. Buy that too. Regi oh, let's see. Regeneration. Yeah. What else do we have? Solution of Strength. That's pretty good, but I don't think I want that right now. Resist Fire. I'll take all of these. Is this cold? I should have been doing this a long time ago. I'll take a few of those. I'm losing a lot of money, but I think I have a good bit to sell, so I should be fine. Alright, that's enough money that, that I've spent here on, on uh, potions here. But I mean, I've bought well, most of what I want, and I've made what I need. Alright, well, let's get out now. Oh, well, well. We need to now find a blacksmith, which should be pretty close by. I don't know where it could, bits and pieces, would that be it? No. That's just for general goods, I believe. That's for clothing. That is a tavern. A winking skeever, that sounds like a very disgusting euphemism. I don't think I want to go there, and I don't think I shall. Right, if it's not here, where could it be? The market is closed. I wonder if it's because of the rain. Huh. I've never seen such an empty city. Maybe it is the rain. Could be. I mean, I don't think I would see many people in any city if it stormed like this. Here we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump on in. A Fletcher, huh? Wow. That's a nice looking place, huh? 
I can hear the thunder outside. That is beautiful. Yeah, what is it? Yes. Well, we have traveled for quite some time from one end of Skyrim to the other, and I have found you are a very capable fighter. As I am still an amateur, I was wondering if perhaps you could give me some instruction. Really? What do you have in mind? I was just thinking, I developed most of my habits fighting alone. Now that you are here to save me, I think maybe I should change my tactics. I usually cast Oak Flesh, but it takes up nearly half of my Magicka. With you fighting beside me, maybe I should use Nice Spike instead to slow our enemies. Huh. Yeah, okay. Sure, as long as you have good aim. <laughs> oh, you're right. I would be very sad if I stuck you in the back. You might think I did it on purpose. <laughs> but what are a few scars here and there, right? <laughs> Alright. That was interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead. Ooh, right. Do you have a lot of experience with two-handed weapons? I like the sound of that. I don't want to read that. Hi there. Fajita, huh? Hello and welcome, my friend. How what have you got Can for I sale? Sure, Not I really much of it. Oh, mean. look at that. I didn't know they had just say shop for... I mean, I knew the name indicated that, but I just didn't think that was the big factor here. Can I sell things to you? I can. can I, I can even sell armor if I wanted to. Let's see. I have these two. I'll sell that one. Let's see. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of. Ah, uh, no, you will not. There's some gold here. Well, let's go ahead and get on out now and try to find a true smithy. Well, it's pouring down even more now, or it feels like it. That was probably just my point of view. There's the blacksmith right there. Maybe that's him too. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperium. There we go. Hmm. Blades, it's a very thick-looking man there. <laughs> pretty much anything to suit your needs. All right, let's see. What do you have here now? I can make whatever. Much better than you can. I'm a much better smithy than you are, friend. Sorry about that, but it's true. Very true, in fact. Okay, I don't have as much to sell as I thought. I do have a lot of pelts, though, so I, I will sell these. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna keep these. I don't need these now. So I shall sell them. I don't need a lot of this, actually. Well, I think that might be it for now. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. And then later, we're going to go ahead and go back to that location where we need to help out that divine Meridia. So as always, my friends, until then.